All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. And the Blue Devils will line up to kick off and start the second half. And he's going to bring it out. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Got it in the middle. It's Gibson. And the catch was one thing and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. They go right back to it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Yeah, and, and listen, offensively, you run the RPOs, you just run positive yards, make the right read, read the guy. If he wants to drop back a little bit, hand it off, get some positive yards, go on to the next play. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Fires to the big fella. Got room at the 35. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Seminoles have this offense rolling. Get set, get set. The give to Davis. Miles ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Holstein. He slings it deep to the left. And here's the third interception of the night. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Back-to-back -back possessions, two forced turnovers, two interceptions. Defenses are salivating. That gets you excited. I'm the next guy trying to make a big play. I'm bragging about it if I've already got one pick. But if I'm the other guys, I'm like, wait a minute. i got to get me one, too. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Backed up at the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man. It's Moore. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here. But it was still a positive game. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Grab near the marker. It's Jones. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. The Blue Devils with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. It might be a good call later on in the game. And after giving up that completion, guys, I wonder if the defense is going to decide to stay in zone or maybe mix things up, a little more man coverage, maybe blitz. Shotgun snap on third down. Floating away. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires one high and deep. He's got it inside the 15. Touchdown, Duke! 
And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And that last completion left him short of the sticks. It's third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. They don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Crosses to 40. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride Davis here. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And eventually taken down. But what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yard. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and is going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? They'll line up for a second down play. To the air, it's Holstein. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and 10. With the catch, it's McCoy. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And they find him early, and I love it, because last week they found him often. He had over 100 yards, and they found him throughout this season. This offense is built on his playmaking ability. This dude is unbelievable. He's unguardable, and that's why he's in the Heisman Trophy conversation. That's why he's going to be featured today, and hopefully in these later moments in the season when you go win a Heisman. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Wide out in motion. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Headed to the end zone. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll try to get it in with the run. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing on the play? Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. And it's not a surprise who they gave the football to. When you get down in this area, they're going to call his name. The physical back, they're going to give him the football. They're going to use their identity of physicality and run game down here in the red zone. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. 
touch pass on the jet sweep. Strong, firm tackle. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Desperately wanted to convert on fourth down, but couldn't do it. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, that's a big run play, and it's not easy to do. Down at this area of the field, backed up in your own end. I mean, you're running into a box that's loaded full of bodies defensively, but the ball carrier was just able to sort of sneak and weave his way through there, giving his offense now a ton of room to work with. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They go to the ground. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Guys, time has expired here in the quarter, and Duke is on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. A third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. Extending the play. Makes one man miss. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. And the Blue Devils look to keep this drive humming. Going up top on first down. Still on his feet at the 40. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. The Blue Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Use the play fake, now to throw. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And they got him for the sack. I think if you're the head coach here, it's a bit of a mixed reaction to your passing attack so far in this game. you put up a bunch of yards throwing the football, you've lit up the scoreboard, but you've also given up four sacks. Pass protection has been a problem so far in this game. Grabs it in the middle. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Blue Devils will bring the punt team onto the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Offense set on first down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Got him downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This guy reminds me a little bit of Devontae Smith back in Alabama winning the Heisman. This guy makes plays week in, week out. Top five right now in the nation in receiving yards, and that's why he's in the Heisman discussion. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. This quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. Looking for a man. It's Holstein. They're setting up the screen. At the 20, he's got space. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. And the Knolls have pushed it inside the 20. Here we go. 
Here's the handoff. Brought down after a pickup of five yards down to the 10. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Touch pass on the rock. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. Catch in the middle. It's Gibson. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. Wide receiver shows motion. With jet sweep pass. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And a big opportunity for this offense to tie the game up in the fourth with a touchdown. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Seminole. Quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, it puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. And the extra point ties the game in the fourth. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. Comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Denson. And they'll knock him down. I love the QB where he holds it, he holds it, he holds it just long enough to let the receiver run the drag wrap, and then he puts it out in front of him so he can catch it on the run in stride and then turn up field to use his speed. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Caught near the sideline, it's Stenson. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. The Blue Devils are flying down the field. Motion from the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Going for it all. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed over the middle. It's Boyd. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. From the gun. Wants to pass. The throw. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And the Blue Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun. The ground game. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Looking to throw on second down. Oh, and it's picked off. This could be huge in a tie game. Got some room to run. He's at the 10. Touchdown, no. And this defense. 
defense coming out with points of their own. What an interception return. What a play by this defense. The offense going in to take the lead. No, no, no. Flip the script. The big pick six. Now you're leading in this ball game. What a play by the D. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Michigan is running away with this one, thanks to an offense that's been clicking in every facet of the game. They're up 14 over Illinois. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. His drive will open from the 15. They'll give it to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better, sir. I don't know if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. This guy runs with some attitude, discarding tacklers, and works his way to the 19. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. With the catch, it's Boyd. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down. Quickly out to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. That's reeled in. It's Jones. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. He'll just keep slinging it. Grab near the sticks. It's Moore. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Precision execution there to work the sidelines, pick up the first down, and stop the clock. Yeah, great job by the offense. You've got to understand the situation. The clock is the enemy late in the ball game. Got to have a score, like you said, Reese. Work the outer part of the field so I can catch the football and get out of bounds. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Brought down at the 25 after a five-yard gain. It'll be a first down. He wants to throw. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision-making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there, like on that last play. Grabbed in the middle. It's Stenson. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. You've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Comes out throwing on first down. He caught it! They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He thought he might turn that into a score, but the defense able to wrestle him down short. They'll stop him at the three. 
Really good job by the defense, seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It can happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're a single point behind. Massive score now, massive decision making. Obviously, extra point ties the football game. Easy peasy, nice job. A two point conversion, you win this thing. So I would kick it, but you know what? If you want to go for it, it's your decision. Not a chance he lets that one go. He's bringing it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first, first down, Jesse. Get that first, first down. He's got it on the left. Running toward the tape. The 10. Touchdown, Florida State. And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And they're able to score on a drive where they had to have it this late in the game, and they look to their playmaker on the outside to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big-time moments. Who do you trust as a quarterback? You could tell this was a big moment. He threw it to his big play wide receiver. He knew he would come down to it, and now the big play in the fourth quarter for the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. He'll bring it out. It's ETN. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Okay, one possession game. You've got some time to work with, but you have to make up some ground quickly, David. You gotta be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field. Chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you gotta have a plan. You gotta know where your best matchup is out on the perimeter and who can make the big catches here in small windows. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Moore. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Got to get everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He's going to pass on second down. Grabbed on the outside, it's Moore. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. On fourth down, going to the air. Complete, out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offenses. Dial it up and let it run. And that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling. Everything seemed to work through throwing the football in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game, David. This was just clinical offensive football. And offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why offenses are ahead of defenses. In this game, it was no different. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.